China is one of the largest countries in the world by population and landmass, with over 1.4 billion citizens and 9.6 million kilometers of land. China's capital Beijing is home to a population of 21 million people and has a gross domestic product of $560 billion. But as Beijing expanded, the capital became incredibly crowded. Cars would be stuck in traffic for three hours on average daily. Annually, this congestion causes heavy pollution and an estimated economic loss of $11.3 billion. In addition, the national capital is continually being hampered by housing shortages. In 2021, the average price of an apartment in Beijing city center was almost $17,000 per square meter, ranking it the seventh costliest in the world. With a growing population, how is China planning for the demands of its citizens? China has taken to constructing new metropolitan areas across the country to accommodate the expanding population. Join us today as we explore the construction of China's newest billion-dollar smart city. In February 2015, Chinese President Xi Jinping unveiled a concept for a city called Xilnan, a modern smart city in the province of Hebei. Xilnan, which is intended to be bigger than New York City, symbolizes Xi Jinping's desire to decongest and depopulate Beijing, while simultaneously establishing it as an innovation center for the surrounding area. Accordingly, Xilnan will be China's 19th national-level new district and new economic zone. In 2016, the project's preparations got underway, and in April 2017, the Chinese government made a public announcement about the new territory. Xilnan will be located 100 kilometers south of Beijing, near Lake Baiyangdian, the biggest freshwater lake in northern China. Beijing's non-essential capital activities, including its financial industry and educational institutions, will predominantly relocate to Xilnan's first phase, which will span 38 square kilometers. A larger 198 square kilometer second phase will be constructed around the initial region, with a large number of shops, office buildings, parks, and an inner city transportation hub that will offer bus and train links to different areas within the city. The second phase will serve as Xilin's primary downtown district. There will be five city cluster zones that provide more housing and retail space all around this major startup area. There will be a sports stadium and a large central park in the eastern section. The Xilin new area would have more than 1,000 square kilometers of lakes, woods, and agricultural lands around the major metropolis. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion-dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. China's vision for Xilin is to make it a high-tech smart city. In order to effectively handle traffic and logistics, it will have AI sensor systems, all data will be kept in an online urban cloud, and 5G will be widely available. Additionally, self-driving taxis will transport passengers, and blockchain technology will manage business transactions. According to the government officials, 80% of the Xilin's economic growth will come from cutting-edge technology industries. Xilin will give priority to investments in high-tech industries, including information technology, biotechnology, and new materials. High-tech industries are expected to eventually make up 75% of the city's economy. In the meantime, Xilin will be transformed into a green city. Food will be produced through vertical farms, and parks, streams, and green spaces will be woven throughout the metropolis. Wood and other recyclable materials will be used in building construction, and 90% of public transportation will be electric. The majority of energy will also originate from solar, wind, and geothermal power facilities. Factories with high carbon emissions will be banned or highly restricted. Authorities have shut down over 5,200 companies for pollution violations in Xilin so far. Ultimately, a livable city will be established in Xilin by 2035. Xilin's key function is to facilitate the Beijing-Tianjin-Hebei integration. It will have a design that is focused on the needs of the community, public services for the locals, walkable streets, 
and an abundance of public transportation to link Xiong'an to neighboring cities. It will have high-speed rail connections to Xinjiang and Beijing via a new route along the Rongqing Wai Expressway. By high-speed railway, it will take only 20 minutes to travel from Xiong'an to Beijing's planned new airport, 30 minutes to Beijing and Tianjin, and an hour to Shijiazhuang, the capital of Hebei province. Presently, there are 60 communities and well over 1 million people living in Xiong'an's greater region. This figure is projected to increase to 2.5 million by 2035. China will greatly profit from the Xiong'an new area. First off, it will free up space in the city by acting as a new home for Beijing's non-essential capital activities. Additionally, it is hoped that it would encourage innovation and act as a prototype smart city for future initiatives of a similar nature. It is anticipated that Xiong'an will eventually contribute $298 billion to the GDP of the area. The project will support China's building sector and create tens of thousands of new employment. Xiong'an will enhance the quality of life for Chinese citizens while also having a good impact on the environment thanks to its green and community-based architecture. The city is still far from perfect. It is being constructed on low-lying marshland near to a lake that is prone to flooding. In 1963, a devastating flood inundated the area and killed 340,000 people. Despite being marketed as a green metropolis, the project would still feature power plants and a $1.3 billion natural gas pipeline. Finally, it's unclear how Beijing will persuade more than a million residents to move to the new metropolis. It's feared that Xiong'an will join China's long list of ghost city developments. In spite of everything, the project is moving along swiftly. Construction started on its first project, a citizen service center in December 2017. Construction also began for three public schools, a hospital, and a commercial service center in the Rongdong area, a 13-square-kilometer suburb that will house 170,000 people once it is complete. Over 85 of the almost 1,000 apartment units in Rongdong had roofs as of 2021. Additionally, a huge underground project for gas, power, and water infrastructure has been constructed close to Rongdong. The high-speed rail station for Xiong'an, worth $8.9 billion, is located 20 kilometers to the east of all this. The Xiong'an Beijing Expressway was built as another piece of infrastructure. It became accessible to the general public in May 2021, reducing the travel between Beijing and Xiong'an to just one hour. Many other projects are in progress as of 2021. Over 27,000 hectares of trees were planted by the end of 2020 as part of a massive forest reclamation project. Local government agencies have created new sewage treatment facilities and curtailed lake fisheries during the past four years. In the region, 120 significant projects are being constructed by more than 160,000 workers as of 2021. In Xiong'an, more than 3,700 businesses have been registered, including Tencent, Alibaba, and Baidu. Over the next two decades, China expects that Xiong'an will emulate the smart city of Shenzhen, and Xiong'an's full construction is estimated to cost a whopping $580 billion. We'll just have to wait and see if Xiong'an accomplishes the vision to become a green smart city. What do you think about this mega project? Let's discuss it in the comments section below. If you liked this video and would want to see more like it, please drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon with another video.